Why do it now if you can do it later? If you're tired of putting things off, then watch this video until the end because I will show you how to stop procrastinating and start taking action. Procrastination is something that I struggle with a lot and it's very present for me most of the days. And something that happened today with me is that I knew that today I was going to record this video and I procrastinated on it. But here I am recording this video and I will tell you what I did and how I dealt with the procrastination so that I actually am here right now recording this video, talking to you on how to overcome procrastination. So we don't procrastinate because we're lazy. We procrastinate because we overthink, then we get overwhelmed. And the main thing is that when we think about doing things and getting things done, in our minds, we think about it as getting everything done at the same time. So in our minds, we don't calculate that we're going to do one thing first, focus on, focusing on getting one thing done first, and then moving on to other things. So that's one major reason why we procrastinate. It's because we tend to think about it, um, everything at once, instead of breaking it down into pieces. We put things off because we're thinking about getting it done later because we can do it later, especially for me. If I think that I can do it later, I'll postpone it for later, but I'll be thinking about the thing that I need to do all day long, all week long, and until I get it done. So procrastination makes me feel overwhelmed and also occupies a lot of space in my head, in my mind. I start worrying about things that are not there and that could be fixed just by me doing the thing that I need to do. So I'll use the example of recording this video and I know that today is the only day that I have to record a video. All the other days of the week, I got things to do and there is no space, a big chunk of time for me to focus on recording and editing and publishing. So what I did today is that I have most of the day free and how I procrastinated on it is that I went out, I ran errands, so I got out of the comfort of my home to cross, to drive across town, run my errands, and then come back so that I will record my video. And I'm laughing because I know that going out and running errands is not something that I like to do. But today, because I knew I was recording the video, I actually ran errands to avoid recording the video. Life is busy. And maybe you have kids or you need to take care of family. You got work and then errands or chores and then self-care. So how do you do all that without procrastinating so that you can be more productive and avoid wasting time? So I will walk you through a very simple framework for you to prioritize what's most important because prioritizing the word itself means prior to. If it's prior to, it means that it's prior before everything else. So the first thing, the most important thing. How to prioritize so that you stop procrastinating and start doing. So, Go ahead and write down a list of things that you need to do. Write down your to-do list. That's the first step. After you write down all your to-do list, separate the list into categories. Let's say, let's divide the to-do list into different buckets. Let's say it's work bucket, personal or family, and chores, errands, housework all things like that. Let's divide into three buckets. After you do that, it's easy for you to see what needs to be done in each category. So then you move from 
a big bucket for a small shot glass. That's how small specific action you're going to take. From the to-do list, you pick one of one item in the bucket and then that item, that thing that you need to do, you make it into a shot glass of making it a very small and specific action that you can take immediately. It doesn't matter which one, what action it is, as long as you're doing something and then you're moving the needle forward, you're stepping forward and you're actually doing something to get the thing done. So that's how you move from a big overwhelming to-do list to categorizing into buckets and then making it even smaller so that your action is very specific, very small, very actionable. What does it mean to be a specific, small, and actionable step? It's redundant. I know it's self-explanatory, but for you to really understand it and for you to stop procrastinating, what's helpful is for you to add a time, a specific time, or a deadline for you to get it done. So for me, for me to record this video, I know that I want to record it and get it done by today, by 3 p.m. today. So before then, I'll have it done, I'll, have, I'll record it, and it's checked off my list. And then I'll, I'll actually be free and then I won't worry about recording the video. So that's the simple framework for you to stop procrastinating and start taking action. And the main thing for you to notice is that if when you procrastinate, you actually create a lot of stress that is unnecessary. You create a lot of overwhelm and worries about things that could be avoided simply by doing the things that you need to do. And it doesn't need to be the right specific action that you need to do right now, as long as there, that's something that's creating momentum so that you stay consistent and you actually do the things that you need to do. So as a review, write down all your to-do list, separate the to-do list into categories. And from the categories, you choose one specific action for each category so that you get it out of your plate. If this is helpful, please comment. I would love to hear if you were able to implement this simple framework for you to stop procrastinating and start doing and be more productive. Thank you and I'll see you next time.